is we are going to be learning PHP. You can see I already did one section here. Um, I did this a while back, so we're just going to work our way through this. Um, so welcome to PHP, introduction to PHP at Codecademy. So um, like they usually do, they're kind of showing us how to uh, do some things here. Um, they don't, they're not expected to know exactly. So we'll just take a look at it. So um, similar, it looks like it's similar to HTML. And uh, this link is kind of for styling purposes and title. And why don't we just click to submit and this changes. So we'll, uh, lots going on here. But uh, let's go ahead and jump right into it. Alright. And I'm going to have to reset the code because, like I said, I've done this before. So we've written a little PHP to the editor to the right, but it's not complete. On line 8, type my first line of PHP in the brackets. So if I had to guess, I'm guessing that echo is the... So that's right. Paragraph, paragraph. All right, so let's reset the code and do it one more time. We're going to copy and paste this in here. There we go. I'm not quite sure. I might have just misspelled something. All right, so echo prints out a statement in the paragraph. PHP code always goes in between the bracket um, question mark PHP and then question mark. Okay. And uh, we use echo to output I'm learning PHP. So use echo to output your name. So in this case, it's simply echo Dylan. Semicolon. That should work just fine. There's my name. All right. Now I have noticed that our main file is now dot in index.php instead of index.html. Um, Alright, and then it's asking us to once again use the echo function. I'm learning PHP and semicolon is already there. As Let's refresh the page. Right, cool. There we go. Alright, reset the code as always. So it's original subject right. Go ahead and add echo of your choice on line 8. So on line 8, we're going to say echo. <coughs> hello. And then we're going to end it with a semicolon. Hmm. Seems to be having an issue. Let's try and uh, just for an issue with uh, Code Academy. Let's try it one more time. See if it goes ahead. There we go. I'm not quite sure what's going on in their end. Um, but uh, we'll keep it going. Alright, so 
In this case, in addition to outputting strings, PHP can also do math. So in between the PHP anchors, we are going to use echo to calculate 17 times 123. Semicolon. Bam. So it's 2091. I'll take your word for it. Alright, variables. So in order for PHP to declare a variable, we have to do that cash money sign uh, for it. So in this case, cash money, my name is what they want us to declare it equals. And then it uh, because of how we're declaring what we're declaring here is a string, we have we use it like that. Save us. Oh, forgot our semicolon. Let's go ahead and reset the code or refresh the page rather. Let me turn add block off. Oh, this domain that maybe that has something to do with it. How that happened with other sites where it oh forgot the semicolon again. All right, so there we go. <coughs> Hopefully, uh, that was the issue. Um, we've forgotten our semicolon, so it doesn't work. So we have to add one for slide nine here. All right. Um, so we need to add a comment. This double slash is a comment. Save and submit. Cool. Now create a variable. Declare a variable my name and give it your name as a string. So uh, remember, cash money is how we uh, declare variables here. And then we end our PHP code with a semicolon. And it says, my name, Dylan. All right. Now, uh, after we our first declare variable, declare a second, called my age. And we're going to set that equal to 27. Oops. It's not going to be in practice, rather. 27 because it's an integer. Or parentheses, rather. And save and submit code. Oh, let me capitalize the A. Let's refresh the page. Oh, I see what happened here. Okay. So, um, Um, the issue we're having right now is they don't, this doesn't, the reason it's getting print out is because we never actually declared our PHP. So, if you remember question mark PHP, and then right here, we are doing the same question mark. There we go. So now it's not printing out, and it's accepting our PHP variables. So in here, it wants us to print out uh, it's still in a paragraph. So we can do echo my name, semicolon, echo oops, uh, we need to actually do this in the PHP code. Echo my name. We want to try and have some standard spacing conventions. 
Um, usually there will be an auto formatter function in your uh, development environment. But uh, So Dylan in 27, and you notice it does not print on the same line or even have a space in there. So that was our first introduction to PHP, not too bad. And next, what we're going to be doing are conditionals and control flow. They should be somewhat similar to most uh, programming languages, so it should go pretty quick. See you guys next video.